all right wonderful people welcome back to this wonderful channel where we we'll bring you back to back update and information as it is hot in case you have not joined our social media handle what are you waiting for uh, kindly go ahead and subscribe like comment share and also remember to all your notification button so that whenever our news drop you will be the first one collect and let's go down to the news proper as it is hot uh, you don't shall uh, before I go to bring you information uh will be say there for my table because one information will be there for my table here be say uh that Mazin and the canon is suffering similar case similar fate as President Tinibu Tinibu's Nadeko days and uh, now one of Mazin and the canon's legal counsel they make this comment but before I go come to the full detail uh of that particular information make I show you uh uh waiting to happen for the obodo um there has been uh, the first bank uh, of nigeria has uncovered a fraud that was carried against them by one of their employee uh, amounting to the tone of 40 billion naira uh, and this person the person who carried out this fraud is one of the managers uh in the bank in lagos let's go down to the full detail of the information but before i continue um i will uh, i want to advise you uh all my followers shout out to each and every one of you uh without you now uh, me no good day as it be please in case somebody tell you uh my friend uh let me transfer money to you to transfer to somebody so uh or something like that or you tell the person to transfer to the person my brother don't agree because um by the time i will be reading the full detail of this information uh, you will find that the bank has decided to trace every single bank that this transaction went to and they are going to find out you know the reason for the transaction and this is going to show you that uh, the country uh, technology somehow it's very hard for you to beat technology or uh, no matter how you cover some of these things in a system uh, that is well organized one day uh, it is going to find you out let's go down to the full detail of the information fraud first bank employee tijani Mews adeyinka has been declared wanted for diverting 40 billion naira to 98 bank accounts a first bank employee identified as tijani Mews adeyinka is now on the run after diverting 40 billion at the bank head office team in Igamu, Lagos. He allegedly diverted those funds to 98 bank accounts classified as first beneficiaries, including his wife. The bank, with a market capitalization of 829 billion, reported the incident to the Nigerian police force on March 25, 2024. And obtained multiple court orders to freeze account connected to the stolen funds as reported by tech cabal tijani Mews adeyinka the employee implicated in the scandal held a managerial position in the electronic product team at first bank headquarters in igamu lagos adeyinka now a fugitive allegedly diverted approximately 40 billion around 29 29 million United States dollars over two years. He purportedly exploited his role to misappropriate funds by directing customer reversa requests to a merchant account under his control. His ability to finalize transaction without additional approvals allowed the scheme to go unnoticed. The fraud came to light following a customer complaint prompting an internal review by the bank's control unit, which uncovered numerous suspicious transactions in response. First Bank alerted the police and pursued legal measures to mitigate the financial loss. First Bank took proactive steps by obtaining three court orders between April 4th and April 8, 2024 to freeze hundreds of accounts suspected of receiving the diverted funds among the affected accounts were 98 classified as first beneficiaries including one belonging to Adeyika's wife as well as numerous second tier accounts. Court documents reveal that 
and then he routed funds to his wife account at Zenith Bank, which then disappeared the money across 34 additional accounts. These accounts subsequently channeled the fund to 1,190 other accounts, creating a complex network of transactions to obscure the origin of the stolen funds. In a statement to Lagos State Commissioner of Police dated May 10, 2024, the bank affirmed its collaboration with law enforcement agencies to uncover the circumstances surrounding the fraud and apprehend all individuals involved. We hereby bring to your notice the discovery of fraudulent transactions into various transactions within and outside a bank and request your good office to set up the machinery of investigation in place to unravel the circumstances surrounding the said fraud and get the culprit apprehended to face the wrath of the law. Uh, my people, I don't see how they happen. Uh, this one happened for First Bank of Nigeria. Um, I say First Bank. I wanna sorry you, wanna sorry you, wanna sorry you, wanna sorry you. <laughs> um, when you are employing someone, please know the kind of person you are employing. I also try to investigate and know uh, if the person has criminal threats in him, uh, because if the person uh, actually have criminal threats, I'm telling you that my brother. Uh, it's not going to be easy for you uh, because look at what this guy did in first bank uh, had he been uh, for the had he been not for the uh, uh, complaint of one of the customer that led to the investigation uh, it could have been a seal and done deal for years meanwhile let's go down to another information as uh, if any age of four mazin and the canals lego council has related uh, canals extraordinary rendition from kenya an incarceration in the DSS custody to uh, Tinubu's fate uh, that he suffered with Nadeko. Let's go down to the full detail of the information. The most senior lawyer in Mazen and Kano's legal team, Barrister Nemeka Ejiofo, has said his client was suffering the same fate President Bola Tinubu. Other Nadeko members suffered during the military regime of General Sani Abacha, who incarcerated Chief Mashud K. Abiola the winner of the presidential election during that period. He said whenever prominent persons try to tie up a political solution to affect the release of Kano, some unidentified persons would commit, commit serious havoc and it blamed on the indigenous people of Biafra, which is led by him. Paris Ejofo, who stated this shortly after presenting a letter to the Attorney General of the Federation's office in Abuja, recalled that during the visit of some Southeast Elder statesmen led by Chief Amechi Mbazulike, a First Republic Minister, to then President Muhammadu Buhari, Buhari, out of respect for Mbazulike, promised to consider the request. He said several days later, Two soldiers from the southeast who were about to get married were captured by one unidentified people and brutally murdered, adding, adding that they blamed IPOB for the incident. Likewise, the recent national tragedy where five soldiers were killed in Aba in Abia State just a few days after honoring the president, Chief Emmanuel Iwayan vowed to see President Tinubu over Kano's continued detention, he said. He called on President Tinubu to set up a team of retired senior security personnel to investigate the one ton killings in the southeast, stressing that during the Nadeko days, whenever a political solution is to be reached, Sergeant Roger and other members of his strike force would carry out bombing around the country, which we had in the mind of General Abacha not to release Abiola. Barrister Ejofo disclosed further that the letter submitted to the Attorney General of the Federation showed the many judgments of Nigeria courts and international panels such as the African Union, African Commission of Human and People's Rights, as well as the United Nations Human Rights Council Working Group on Arbitrary Detention, all calling for Kano's release. He said, all the judgments we are enclosed with the subtitle letter to assist the Attorney General reach a fair and just decision so that he can advocate for dispensing of justice with a human face so that the judgment on Nam the Kano are enforced. 
Some people that just don't see as it will happen for this particular matter where you say they drop for my table. No, 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 no. <laughs> um, barrister age of what they suggest say um this thing where they happen all the time. Uh, whenever they say that um uh they want they want to release mass and the kind of you will see uh one thing or the other happening. Uh, he is suggesting that uh, maybe it could be some unscrupulous individuals who have decided to make sure uh, that Kano remains uh, in the DSS detention. Uh, he also referred back to the day of M.A.K. Abiola uh, that whenever Abacha wants to release him, that one of the general uh, will commit one thing in order to be able to keep Abiola back in the uh, back in prison meanwhile this is where i'll be winding down the curtain and if this is your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel kindly go ahead and subscribe like comment and share also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news drop you could be the first one collector and thank you for listening god bless you